All right, we are live. Welcome in. This is the Friday morning iced coffee Q&A with Jacques. Come on in, everybody. We are broadcasting live on Facebook in the online course community Facebook group. And for the first time, we are broadcasting live, I think, to the Online Course Guy YouTube channel. Doing my best to, uh, to spread this message of online courses. And not everybody has Facebook. So if you're new here, I have been doing these live Q&As since the beginning of this year. And, uh, and historically, it's only been to the Online Course Community Facebook group. And we're going to try something new today. We're going to also be we're going to be multi-streaming. We're also streaming to the Online Course Guy YouTube channel. So if you're watching there as well, welcome in to this um, to this live stream. Today is Friday, April the 3rd, 2020, and what a crazy wild world we're living in right now. Certainly we'll talk about that a little bit, mostly in regards to how it might affect online business and online course businesses specifically. I have several notes here, several things that I will try to get into today. Uh, but of course, for those of you that are regulars here or have done this before, you know this is um, this is about you. And I want to take this this show, whatever you want to call it, into the direction that you want to take it. So uh, I invite live participation and interaction. Let me know any and all questions that you guys might have. And we're going to have some fun as normal. As, uh, as we normally do. So we are now live here. Um, people are starting to trickle in. Let me make sure I get my comments all up in the right place. Um, Dr. Ryan Gray is here. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Um, so I wanted to tell you something, man, if you're still here. Uh, so by the way, guys, this is presented by Ground Shark Coffee. Ground Shark Coffee is my coffee of choice. They uh, they are the new uh, new sponsor of this this live broadcast, and they are the coffee beans that I use. I use them for several reasons, and uh, and Ryan Gray, I know you got a new espresso machine, so I highly recommend these beans um, because they are organic. They do not roast them until you purchase them, until you check out on their website. They don't roast them. They roast them, and then they ship them right out to you, uh, and it's just a good small company. And hey, Ryan, they're in Colorado, man. You may have heard of them. And so you can actually get 20% off by going during the quarantine, 20% off, right? So who knows, who knows how long this is going to last, but until it, until it ends, you can get 20% off just go to coursecoffee.com, coursecoffee.com. Get the best coffee out there. And uh, and I appreciate those those guys for supporting me and my work here. So welcome in, everybody joining in. We are live. For those of you that are listening on the podcast later or re-watching this later, whether in the Facebook group or YouTube, welcome to you as well. Feel free to fire away any questions you have if you are joining live. <sighs> And we'll do our best to have some fun. By the way, today is pink day in the Hopkins household. Uh, most of you know I've got a two-year-old and a four-year-old uh, daughter, two daughters. And as you can imagine, they are very into pink. And so my wife has officially deemed today pink day. And uh, that is why I'm currently wearing a pink shirt. And I made pink french toast this morning i didn't know that was possible but i made pink french toast this morning for the girls and i believe they're making pink cupcakes right now while watching pink alicious and uh, of course they're wearing pink and yesterday evening my wife dyed part of their hair pink so today is going to be all things pink and i am a girl dad so i uh i have no choice but to embrace that and hence the the pink shirt today for those of you watching um, welcome in everybody. Let me know if you can hear me and see me okay. I'd sincerely appreciate that. Uh, uh, um, looks like we have somebody joining, um, some people joining in from YouTube, which is awesome to hear. Um, Mark, good morning from YouTube. This is, this is cool. Okay. It's cool. So I'm using a software called StreamYard, which allows me to, to broadcast to multiple platforms at the same time. So, um, guys, 
I'm curious to know what has been your favorite like quarantine activity so far and and maybe put a better way. What's something that you're doing that you're enjoying that you wouldn't normally be doing, right? So there's obviously a lot of problems happening for a lot of people, whether we're talking about people um, getting sick or people passing away or people being affected financially with um, businesses having to stop running, people getting laid off. There's obviously a lot of bad things happening. But um, what are you doing to make lemons lemonade out of lemons, right? So is there anything specific that you're doing that you're, you're taking this opportunity to, to do? I know a lot of people are taking this opportunity to learn piano, uh, which is cool, which is good for my business. Um, but for me, on my side, like we're doing a lot of picnics. That's not something we normally do. When we go travel to Europe, which we try to do as often as possible, we do a lot of picnics. But when we're here, uh, we don't do that a lot. But we've been doing it almost every day for lunch. We go find a new spot for, for a picnic. And most of the time, that's somewhere in our front yard or our backyard or up in our, um, in our tree house. Sometimes we'll go to the park. We try not to do that too, too often. Um, but just, you know, different places around the yard or within the neighborhood has been a lot of fun. And, uh, and the other thing that I've been doing that I've really been enjoying is waking up early. I do, I feel like I am a more of a morning person and not a night person. And so what I'm doing is I'm waking up early about five o'clock in the morning, getting a couple hours of work done in the morning. That way I can get off early in the afternoon, about three o'clock. Normally I get off at five o'clock, um, and just, you know, spend more time with the family since the girls are not in school at all all right good morning uh david crozy good morning antonia she says yes can hear you and see you great uh good morning hunter he says nothing different focusing on creating courses fantastic um i want to give a quick shout out to david crozy david is the co-host of the online course show and uh i think he does a phenomenal job with it uh, you know, he's got a chiropractic business to run. He's got his own online course to run, and he graciously shares his time um, with me and, and all of you on the online course show as the co-host. Uh, he hasn't always been the co-host. It, it started around episode 100, you know, maybe a few after episode 100, and I've definitely gotten some positive feedback on that so far. So I wanted to give him a big shout out and make sure he knew how much I appreciated him and, and always being like super prepared for when we when we record the podcast episodes. All right, guys, fire away with any questions you might have. Uh, once again, we are presented here by Ground Shark Coffee. In my opinion, the best coffee beans out there. That's currently what I'm drinking with my iced coffee, which is what I drink every day. Iced coffee, Ground Shark, coffee beans. The other thing about those guys is they don't they don't ship out ground coffee, right? Because you want to you want to have your coffee. I want to be drinking your coffee as as closely to when it was roasted as well as when it was ground too. So for that reason, they don't, um, they don't ship out any ground coffee, just beans. All right. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and knock out some Bonjoros. Um, a lot of you probably know this drill by now. Every time somebody signs up for my piano course, they will get an, a, a personal video from me usually 10 to 20 seconds, not super long, but it's me calling them out by name and welcoming them to the course. And Bonjoro is the app that I use to make that crazy, crazy easy. It's so easy. In fact, it's so easy that uh, all I have to do is open my app, find somebody's name, click on it, click record, record the message and hit send, right? So the automation that's happening is that when somebody does buy my course, there, a task is already created, automatically created inside the Bonjoro app to where I don't have to import anything. I don't have to, you know, look up anybody's name, email, this and that. Everything's just there, right? I have my app open and everybody that's bought within the last 24 hours is here. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of them. Business is good for me right now. I don't expect that to always be the case. But right now, um, in this very moment in time, there are a lot of people signing up for piano in 21 days. I think it's uh, it's it's obviously a good it's a good business to be in right now because it's something people can do in the comfort of their homes and people are looking for things to do. Not all online courses are doing well right now. I know that for sure. It just depends on what niche you what niche you're in. So uh, I'm saving as much cash in my business right now as possible because 
um, winter could be coming in a few months. It's possible. I certainly hope not. And it's not necessarily what I'm expecting, but I'm preparing for it either way. So as I open my Bonjoro app, I haven't done my Bonjoro since yesterday morning. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 new sales in the last 24 hours, which is, I'm just so thankful for. That is amazing. Um, and this is not during any sort of special launch period. This isn't during any sort of relaunch. Those are 14 evergreen funnel sales. So let me knock out a couple of Bonjoros. Samar purchased my ultimate package one hour ago. So I'm clicking on his name, clicking record. Hey there, Samar. Jock just wanted to personally welcome you to Piano in 21 Days. Thanks so much for signing up for the ultimate package earlier today. I hope everything's going well with that so far. Good luck. And I look forward to chatting with you more as you go through the course. So then I hit stop recording and there's a canned um, message template built in that I've put in. So then I just hit send and we are done. It's really that simple to send out a bonjour. Next, I'm going to send one to Molly. Hey there, Molly and Jacques. Just wanted to personally welcome you to Piano in 21 Days. Thanks so much for signing up for the ultimate package this morning. I hope everything is going well with that so far. Good luck. And I look forward to chatting with you more as you go through the course. Hey there, Molly. So yes, it's more work when I get more sales, but um, that's I'm okay with that, right? I'm okay with with it being more work because that means I'm getting more business, more people are signing up and hopefully more people are learning piano. Um, so I'll probably do a few more of those as we go throughout this morning. So everybody that is uh, joining in a little late, welcome in. Uh, David says, doing more biking during Corona crisis, getting going to set up deadline funnel this weekend and get one course funnel set up and two funnels for my main biz. Awesome. 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 Uh, yeah. Deadline funnel is awesome. You guys know they are a sponsor of the podcast. You can get a double trial, meaning instead of 14 days, 28 days of free trial by going to deadlinefunnelcom slash O C G for online course guy. So if you want to try it out, uh, that's how you, that's how you can. And, um, so that's great, David, that you're going to be getting into that. Somebody says, uh, got my Bonjoro welcome message from Jacques yesterday. So fun. Really stands out compared to a normal email. Thanks so much for that comment. Uh, for some reason, I can't see your name, but I appreciate that comment. I still have it 100% figured out the like commenting system and where the best place is to look for comments. Um, but for some reason, I see... I see your comment. See, look, I can pop it on the screen. Look, that's pretty cool. Got my Bonjoro welcome message from Jacques yesterday. So fun. Really stands out from a normal email. That's cool. So, um, so March was my best month ever for Piano in 21 Days, which is just, uh, it's crazy to think about with the, with the craziness going on right now and people getting laid off and, and all kinds of things going on with the economy. Um, but not every business is doing poorly, and, and mine is certainly doing very well. So uh, for the third month in a row, Piano in 21 Days brought in its, uh, its best month ever. But like I said, I'm, I'm saving as much cash as possible right now, both in my, within my business and in my personal accounts as well. I'm just trying to build those up as much as, as I possibly can for the uncertainty. And you know, now is probably not the, the best time for all businesses to be building up emergency funds, but it's a, it's a lesson at the importance of that as well. So if you're just starting out, um, remember that having, having backups is good. So if, if you're just starting out and aspire to have employees and, and have a team and this and that, like for me, I don't have a big team. I have a small team and, and I'm, I hope I can continue to take care of them through this and, and so far so good. And, and I don't see any problems with that. And I do have cash reserves, but imagine having like a hundred employees and no cash reserves right now, you know, imagine how many people you'd have to lay off. And I certainly am not, um, I'm glad I'm not in that boat right now. Um, but speaking of hiring and, and having a team, I do have an interview with somebody, 
uh, this afternoon. I, I mentioned last week that I think this, if you're set, if you've set things up right, this could be a phenomenal time to hire people because I, I would only imagine that there's a lot of amazing people out there that are actually looking for work. And so one position that I want to fill that I've been wanting to fill is just a social media manager, right? I run ads. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm running, um, I'm starting to run ads on Facebook and Instagram as well for piano in 21 days, but I'm not, I don't have a great organic presence on the social media platforms. It's not, it's just not something that's always really appealed to me very much. And, uh, and, and it's something that I know that I could outsource. So I've been vetting some candidates, um, doing some different things. And I have an interview this afternoon with, uh, one person that's got a lot of potential, I think. So I'm excited about that. I'll keep you guys posted, posted on that. But my goal is to be posting on Instagram every day on Facebook, on my Facebook page every day, um, on even like LinkedIn. Like I want to be posting more stuff on LinkedIn. That's probably better for, that's probably better for my online course guy audience than it is for piano in 21 days. But you know, you, you really don't know those things until you test it until you test it. And so fortunately I've got a lot of tracking, uh, in analytics and I can see where like sales come from. And I know, for example, I've made a couple of sales from Instagram the past week. Um, and so I think that a lot of people, maybe more people than normal are on Instagram browsing, uh, using hashtags, clicking on hashtags. And I want to take advantage of that. So not only do I want to take advantage of the time where it might be a good time to hire people, but I think it's, um, a good time to have a good social media presence too. I really do. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and in general, I mean, it's a good time to have online assets. I think it's right now, it's a good time to have online assets. And so, uh, you know, for example, you know, gyms are closing, right? Temporarily, a lot of gyms are closing. My gym is, is, uh, it's closed right now. Well, it's closed for in-person business, but I got to give a shout out to the guys and girls at the gym that I go to here and the owner there because they're doing everything they possibly can to support their members in a time like this. So they started by just doing their their classes and stuff on Facebook Live. Now they're doing those on Facebook and YouTube, kind of like I'm broadcasting this now to Facebook and YouTube because not everybody is on Facebook. And now they're starting to do Zoom ones where it's more interactive and they are doing some some competitions and they, they let everybody come in and borrow some equipment uh, after they thoroughly <laughs> disinfected it. And they're really doing everything they can. And I'm actually meeting with the gym owner this afternoon because he wants to he wants to talk about online courses and and uh, how how you know get, get some advice from me on how he could also you know include some of that into his current offering to just try and serve his audience as best as possible and you know keep his clients around until this is over because his main business model is obviously in person you know working out uh, and just trying to you know keep people on board until that is this whole craziness is over. Um, and, and hopefully it's sooner rather than later, God willing. And, uh, another cool story about this or, or related to this is, you know, I've been working with somebody, um, a girl named Annie Grossman in, uh, she's got a dog training studio in New York city and she signed up for my next level courses program last year. Uh, early last year, actually, and and we were going through the process of helping her create and launch her online course because she's she's been running her in person dog training, um, her dog training program and studio for years and years and years. Very successful. It's called School for the Dogs. She's got a podcast. Um, it's not just this little podunk, you know, one person show. Like she's got a team and everything. And she wanted to take that that clout and that brand and reach more people outside of New York City. So that's that's when she came across my stuff a little over a year ago, and she uh, she wanted to create an online course. And some some things got in the way about halfway through. She had to put it on pause. We resumed it at the beginning of this year, and she was able to actually launch her course about. I want to say four to five weeks ago, right before all this craziness started happening. And she, she launched her course. She did a couple of live webinars. She got, uh, she made about $6,000 in sales. So that paid for, you know, paid for the, the, the next level courses program that she signed up for. 
and she's continuing to uh, push that out, making even more sales. But what a time for her to have launched that, right? What a time for her to have launched that. Uh, I mean, it's complete luck. I, I would I would imagine she would admit it was complete luck in terms of the timing. But think about this. She's in New York City, arguably the worst city in the entire world right now for for the outbreak, for the pandemic. And so obviously her, her physical brick and mortar store is closed. She's got all these employees. And she, so she has this alternate revenue stream. And she's also working with her employees to have them be affiliates and help her sell the course. I mean, it's just, it couldn't have been uh, better timing for her to have launched the course uh, than, than when she did. So it's a, it's a good time for online courses in general to have these assets like this. And it's only going to be make more and more sense going for, forward in, into the future to have an online course, have an online presence, and have these digital assets to be able to sell to people. All right. So Alex, uh, sorry, Hunter says, how do I present a pre-sell confidently? I have free tip courses for leads, a couple video content courses in the pre-sell bundle and several bonuses going in the offer more than enough, but how to offer it in your opinion? All right, let me go through that again. How do, how do you present a pre-sell confidently? I have a free, I have free tip courses for leads, a couple video content courses in the pre-sell bundle and several bonuses going to offer more than enough, but how do I offer it in your opinion? Yeah. So I don't know if you've like, I almost feel like people need to, to frame their questions. Have I with, have you read expert secrets or not? Right. So Hunter, I don't know if you've read expert secrets, but I would certainly um, put together a webinar using the script in expert secrets and using specifically the stack in expert secrets. So stack on those things and present your your offer your presentation your stack in some sort of webinar whether live or evergreen i'm not sure you know if you have an audience where your audience is how big it is but present that to them and give them a specific date for when the offer when the whole package is going to be available and then you you offer them a discounted early bird price and see how that goes you see how that goes and you know, hopefully it goes well and you can execute all of it. But if you make no sales, then you just don't make it and you pivot and you try something else. Or if you make fewer sales than you were hoping for, so so many fewer that it's not worth actually putting together, then you refund those people. So that's what I would recommend. Thanks for the question. Let me know if you have any follow-ups there and hopefully I understand your, uh, your question correctly. So um, Nexus is joining us live from from YouTube. Good morning, Nexus. Uh, Andy is also joining us from YouTube. Uh, he says, big fan of your podcast. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate, I appreciate that, uh, very much. That's cool. I can drop that right on the screen. Look at that. Hopefully Andy doesn't mind me showing his picture on here. Um, Annie Grossman says, hello. Good morning, Annie. You just missed my Annie Grossman story. You're going to have to go watch this back. Uh, I just gave you a shout out on your timing of launching your online course and shared a little bit about that. Uh, so you just missed that. But thanks for joining us here. All right. Well, those of you uh, joining in, welcome in. Appreciate you being here. We are presented by Ground Shark Coffee, the best coffee beans in my opinion, you can get 20% off, 20% off by going to coursecoffee.com. Uh, let me knock out a, a few more Bonjoros while I'm thinking about it. And by the way, guys, uh, if you want to try out Bonjoro, then that is the best place to do that is up bonjoro.com slash shock. They are a supporter of the online course guy brand as well. And if you want to help support my brand and want to sign up for the um, Bonjoro Anyway, then I'd appreciate using that link, bonjoro.com slash shock. All right, so let's go ahead and send Gary a bonjoro. Hey there, Gary at Jacques. Just wanted to personally welcome you to Piano in 21 Days. Thanks so much for signing up for the entry package earlier today. I hope everything is going well with that so far. Good luck, and let me know if you need anything. Hey All right, Gary's now got a personal welcome message from me. Rosemary is next. 
Hey, Rosemary Jock, just wanted to personally welcome you to Piano in 21 Days. Thanks so much for signing up for the Ultimate Package yesterday. I hope everything's going well with that so far. Good luck, and I look forward to chatting with you more as you go through the course. Hey, Rosemary Jock, just wanted to personally welcome you to Piano in 21 Days. Thanks so All much for right. signing up for... So now Rosemary has a personal welcome from me. All right, so another thing that I'm planning on doing a little bit differently than I normally would is I'm going to do a live webinar relaunch this month in April for my Piano in 21 Days email list. Normally, I relaunch with a more of a pre-launch, uh, a, a product launch formula style because it's, it's just less work for me, less time and commitment for me. It's more automated. And what I'll do is I'll point people to my Evergreen webinar and then do pre-launch and then open cart, close cart for my relaunch. And, and most of you know, or if you've been listening to me for any period of time, I relaunch every month to a quarter of my list. So if you're on my list, you will then get relaunched to every four months. And I do it that way to keep my income consistent. And so at this point, my email list is, uh, I did a purge recently, so it's about 50,000 people. So each month, the relaunch goes out to about 12,000 uh, email addresses. And so I'll be promoting that to 12,000 um, people on my email list. I might run some ads to it too and just see how that goes. But I just feel like attendance rates might be higher than ever. And you know, you probably know that attendance rates to a webinar is, is directly proportional to, you know, sales, right? The key is to get people to attend, to actually attend and to stick on as well and stick on to the end till they see your offer. And so uh, at a time like this, you know, almost everybody's home. And so I just feel like attendance rates might be higher than ever for a live webinar. And I'm going to do two, I'm going to do one on Sunday, the 12th evening at 9pm. And then I'm going to do it Monday, the 13th morning to try to catch every time zone, every schedule and so on. I think it's going to go really, really well. So I'm going to be doing that I'm kind of putting together the plan and everything uh, for that right now. And if you want to see how I do live webinars, then feel free to opt in for that. Or if you're interested in learning piano, um, then watch out because you might get sold to. Uh, you can find that at where can you find that? I don't know yet. I'm not sure where you can find that yet because as of right now, it's only going out to my email list. But like I said, I might run ads to it. So I don't remember the exact URL, but if anybody's interested in that, then I'll try to set, uh, share it on the next one of these. Uh, next time we do the Friday morning iced coffee Q&A with Jacques, it'll be April the 10th. And then those webinars are the 12th and the 13th. So I'll try to come next week with the link uh, or the URL that you guys could potentially participate um, in that live webinar. So that's some, that's another, just another thing that I'm doing, you know, thinking about things that I could do specifically for this time. Another thing I might do is, you know, you see all these musicians who are going live on, on Facebook or YouTube and just putting like a link to PayPal, asking for tips and just playing songs, right? Well, I've got 60,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel and I'm, while I'm not going to do that, I might go live on YouTube and just, you know, maybe, maybe play, um, play my piano for 30 minutes or an hour and, and do that and promote my, my training material, right? I'll probably just promote either the, the upcoming live webinar or just my free five day workbook, my opt in. And instead of asking for tips, I'm just going to say, Hey guys, if you want to learn to play like this, if you want me to teach you to play like this, then check this out, right? I'm gonna, I might do that. That's a, that's something I've thought of. That might be fun to do. All right, so we have a question from Annie. Uh, with the evergreen formula, the open cart period is tied to when they first see the recorded webinar, right? Well, close, ideally, I mean, you can do it that way. You, you use deadline funnel to handle the evergreen open and close cart. And you've got a couple of options with when, basically when does the time start, right? So, so one of the options in deadline funnel is it starts when somebody hits a page, right? As soon as they land on that page, that's when their time starts. And if that's the way you wanna do it, you can, you can certainly do that. 
I like it to be more, um, more defined than that and not just like based on when that person wants to hit the page. And so what you do is you run them through what's called a webhook, right? So I think, yeah, you use active campaign. A lot of people out there use active campaign, but it would work in other email autoresponders too. So what you do is when they opt in for the webinar or whatever it is they're opting in for at some point, Shortly after that, you run them through the deadline funnel webhook, and that's when the time starts for them. And it's just a little less messy to do it that way. Um, so close, Andy, but, but not quite in my opinion. Okay. All right, I successfully removed that off the screen. All right, so once again, fire away, guys, if you have any questions or anything specific you wanna talk about, um, I did get a copy of a new book that I'll show you. Boom. Expert secrets. Let me, let me bring it. Uh, sorry. Traffic secrets, traffic secrets. Let me get the camera to zoom in on it. So most people know I'm a pretty big ClickFunnels fan, Russell Brunson fan. Expert Secrets is one of the top books, or really the top book that I recommend for course creators and aspiring course creators because that book is all about creating and, and successfully selling an online course. Well, this is his new book, Traffic Secrets, um, all about traffic, as you can imagine. And so this is a pre-release copy. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get directly mailed a pre-release copy. Um, I need to talk to Russell about that, but my friend Nick Loper got a pre-release copy and he was great. He graciously um, read it and then mailed me his copy. So I just got this in the mail a couple of days ago. The official, um, the official launch date is on May the 5th, I believe. That's when they're going to start shipping out the books, but the you can start getting them now. Um, you can start getting the book now, pre pre-order the book. Um, and I do have a link for that. Let me see if it's easily shareable. Yeah, so it's just the online course guy.com slash traffic, the online course guy.com slash traffic. And I, there's a lot of people promoting the book right now. And a lot of people have a bunch of bonuses you get whenever you um, like use their link to buy it. And the reason is because there's a leaderboard, right? As an affiliate of ClickFunnels, I get to see the leaderboard and there's, there's, um, you see all the names on it and I'm not on it, uh, but, but I'm friends with a lot of people that are on it and I, like I'm friends with them on Facebook and I'll see all the bonuses they're offering and they're going live on Facebook every day promoting it. It's like you get $35,000 or $3,500 worth of bonuses here and there with it, this and that. That's not me right now. You know, I'm not saying I won't do that one day. So, I'm not really offering any bonuses um, when you sign up for, for Traffic Secrets through my link. Um, I have uh, 16 of you have purchased Traffic Secrets through my link and I sincerely appreciate that. And that's really all you're gonna get. You're gonna get a thank you from me um, because I really do sincerely appreciate you, you supporting me and my efforts with the Online Course Guy brand and the Online Course Show. Because at this point, there's very little that I'm selling to you that I have to sell to you directly. Most of the content that I have out there is free. And the business model here is affiliate links. So ground shark coffee, coursecoffee.com, deadline funnel, deadlinefunnel.com slash, um, slash OCG, bonjoro, bonjoro.com slash uh, Jacques. I was trying to remember all the different URLs. Uh, click funnels, onlinecourseguy.com slash click and traffic secrets the online course guy.com slash traffic. So I'm really excited about this book. I just started diving in yesterday. Um, amazing, amazing stuff. And who doesn't want more traffic? And so if you want to uh, read this book as well, then head to the online course guy.com slash traffic. And by the way, you don't have to wait until, until May to actually start going through the content. As soon as you buy it and, and it's like free plus shipping, right? So they'll give it to you free if you pay nine ninety nine ninety nine in shipping. As soon as you buy it, you click buy, you go to the next page. The first upsell is for the audiobook for like 30 bucks or something. And you can get the audiobook instantly. So um, you can definitely check that out as well. Once again, the onlinecourseguy.com slash 
traffic. All right, so Annie, I hope that answered your question. And Andy Rodriguez says, what application do you use for this live stream? Uh, I talked about it at length last week on this, but it is called StreamYard. Last week was the, either last two, maybe two weeks ago is the first time I was using StreamYard. And I was using Minicam before, and StreamYard's like ridiculously easy to use. And it is, uh, it's great for multi-streaming as well, uh, which like I said, right now we're broadcasting live to the Facebook group as well as the YouTube channel too. And I might branch out even further from, uh, from there as well because StreamYard makes it so easy. Now, one thing that StreamYard doesn't have yet that's a little disappointing, the only complaint I have about StreamYard at this point is they don't do 1080 streaming yet. So this is coming at you in HD 720. Um, but I am fully capable here at the Piano in 21 Days and Online Course Guy Studios of going live at 1080p uh, because I've got just the right equipment, the right computer, and I've got a fiber line coming from AT&T that's gigabit, and I've got that hardwired into my computer. So no Wi-Fi here. Uh, I have Wi-Fi, but I'm not connected up through Wi-Fi. So hopefully the connection coming all the way to wherever you are in the world is solid, and I'm excited about one day them having the uh, HD feature as well. So uh, StreamYard, thanks for the question, Andy. Uh, David says, we'll definitely be ordering traffic secrets through your link, Jock. <laughs> Very much appreciate that, David. You are definitely a supporter of the show and my efforts here. And so I appreciate that very much. Um, so once again, the online course guy.com slash traffic. If you want more traffic to your business and who doesn't want that? Um, I mentioned last week, uh, last Friday that I was going to be interviewed on the smart passive income podcast with Pat Flynn and how, um, how big of a milestone that is in my online business, because that's that's like the first marketing resource that I ever came across back in like 2011, 2012. And Pat's such a, such a genuine guy. Um, and I feel like he's just always done things the right way from the outset. And so uh, I got to talk to him last Friday afternoon after we did this last Friday. And oh my gosh, I was so nervous. Um, but I think, I think it turned out well. I think it'll be well received and I'm really excited for that to be uh, released as well. Um, another thing that I've been doing is re trying to trying to do better repurposing content, right? So there's two videos that I was able to extract from this very live stream last Friday and turn it into one of those nice, um, you know, like square ish social media posts with just a, you know, a minute or two of content extracted from the video. And I really want to get better and better and better at content repurposing because, you know, I'm all about efficiency. And if I can, for example, go live with you guys for an hour on Friday mornings and then take that and turn it into seven different small um, clips that I can then put on YouTube or Facebook and Instagram and have that in a fairly automated way, right? So my team members will then take that, extract it, edit it. Shout out to Fred, who is going to be editing these videos later. Um, all the better. All right. Andy says it's solid here in Ottawa. Uh, congratulations. I'm a big fan of Pat. Yeah, he's, I am as well. I'm a big fan. I'm a fan of, uh, Russell Brunson, Pat Flynn, um, uh, Dan Henry, Donald Miller. Those are, those are some of the people, uh, Sam Ovens. Those are some of the people that I kind of look up to in the marketing space and have followed for quite some time. Uh, Jeff Walker. Jeff Walker. I'm trying to think if there's any others. So let me go ahead and knock out a few more Bonjoros. Feel free to fire away with any questions you guys might have. Uh, we'll be wrapping up here shortly. Hey, hey, what's going on, Amber Lee? This is Jacques, and I just wanted to personally welcome you to Piano in 21 Days. Thanks so much for signing up for the Ultimate Package yesterday. I hope everything is going well with that so far. Good luck, and let me know if you need anything. Hey, hey, what's All right, so for those of you just joining us, 
Um, I do these bonjouros every day, just thanking everybody that purchased my piano course in the last 24 hours or so. And so that's, that's what I'm doing right now. Bonjoro makes it just insanely easy to do this. Hey there, Joe, it's Jacques. Just wanted to personally welcome you to Piano in 21 Days. Thanks so much for signing up yesterday. I hope everything is going well with that so far. Good luck, and let me know if you need anything. Hey there, Joe, it's Jacques. All right, I'll do a couple more, and I'll go ahead and put out the last call for questions here, guys. Uh, thanks to everyone for participating here, both on Facebook and YouTube for the first time. Um, thanks so much for, for being here and interacting and making this brand possible. Once again, we're brought to you by um, Ground Chart Coffee, best coffee beans in the world. Get 20% off during the quarantine by going to coursecoffee.com. Highly recommend that coffee for course creators. Don't ask me why, specifically course creators, but we need coffee too. All right, Lauren. So last call for questions, guys. Let me send this one to Lauren. Hey, Lauren and Jock, just wanted to personally welcome you to Piano in 21 Days. Thanks so much for signing up for uh, the Ultimate Package yesterday. I hope everything's going well with that so far. Good luck, and I look forward to chatting with you more as you go through the course. Hey, Lauren and Jock. There we go. All right, I've got about nine more that I'll do later on today, probably. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put a bow on this episode of the Friday Morning Iced Coffee Q&A with Jacques. Thanks, everyone, for attending live, and thank you for everybody either watching back later in the Facebook group or on the YouTube channel and um, or listening live on the audio with the uh, the Online Course Show podcast. Um, Thank you so much. If you're not a part of the Facebook group already, then you can find that by going to Facebook and searching up the online course community. That's just where course creators like to hang out and interact and get feedback from other people and provide feedback as well. So if you're a course creator or aspiring course creator, that is a great place to be if you're not already. Or you can also get there by going to the online course guy.com and clicking on community at the top. Thanks again, everybody for being here and we'll talk to you next time.